Okay, you got to see this kid to believe him. I'm serious. When Jordan McCabe walks into a gymnasium, he lights the place up. Maybe he remembers all those hours working with his dad, passing and passing and passing some more. It started with real fun fundamental basketball with my dad and my grandpa. He's a 12-year-old shooting star. The shots rain down from all over the floor, and you think to yourself, hmm, the kid's got a sweet stroke. Fancy passes or no passing fancy for this guy. And you think, a little bit of flair too, nice. You know, the better he got and the more he could do, he just got hungrier for doing more and more. Jordan warms up with a warp speed rope skip. He's the classic gym rat. Two hours of every day, this is where you find him. And you whisper to yourself, what the heck is going on here? And then the kid stands in the middle of the floor and flat out blows your mind. Around the legs he goes with eye blurring, mind numbing speed, in and out, and then around the head and the back and everything else. And then things start to get really crazy. What was that, you say? And the kid gives you another angle just as unbelievable as the first. Just as it begins to sink in, the boy grabs another basketball and takes this little demonstration into a whole nother dimension. Two balls in rhythm, two balls out of sync. Big ball, little ball. Little ball, big ball. Little ball round and round, big ball bouncing. He switches it around and you're getting dizzy. How can this be happening, you wonder? And he just keeps going. Two balls between the legs. Then the two balls with baby bounces round and round. In and out of the legs, you're mesmerized, hypnotized, and finally you can't hold it in any longer and you yell out, holy crap! It's just second nature, like breathing. Here's what it would be like if you were guarding Jordan McCabe. Here's what it would be like if you were dumb enough to try it again. That was ridiculous. He does things with two balls that most of us couldn't do with one, and then he does it backwards just to rub it in. Maybe you saw him at halftime with the Huskies game the other night. He razzled and dazzled and left them all frazzled. It was his way of saying, there's a new gun in town. The kid's motor runs hot. The tricks keep coming. Have you seen the tennis ball drill? Get a load of this. But here's the deal. Jordan doesn't just want to be eye candy. He wants to be a ball player. When some older, bigger guys show up for a pickup game, they let the little kid play along. Nobody likes a ball hog, so Jordan passes the rock. Boy, does he pass the rock. He takes a couple shots, too, just for kicks. All Dad can do is smile, and all you can do is say, there it is, this week's episode of... Eric's Little Heroes.